Okay guys, another day, another boring project. Well, this is a sort of a side project. I've got loads of projects going, but I thought let, let, let's let's try this. Just for, just for jokes. Now this is Gyrus running as you can see. It's running via my Raspberry Pi and Main for All Pi. So it's running quite good. Um it's not bad. Um my my initial idea for this was to make a mini arcade um like a scale model um you know i mean similar to these rubbish things here this this i've just got sitting here just for just for short show um but you know i mean something like that but i don't use that that's for an iphone um that i just got it up there for a show but yes yeah, so, something like that i wanted to do um well eventually i want to do now again oh, let me get that arcade a little mini arcade back again the problem I was having with doing that was two things. One was getting a keyboard encoder. I hate those um, Zinmoy um, and those uh, zero delay um, HIDs. Um, because the reason why I don't like them is because they're HID, USB HID, and um, human interface device. And you've got to sit there and you've got to remap MAME to make them compatible. Because MAME default is keyboard encoding. Now, I like things that you don't have to mess around with too much, so keyboard encoding is good. Didn't want to use an Ultimark um, iPack, mini pack, whatever it is, because it's a bit overkill for this project. So I had a bit of an idea, but then I ran into a problem. The main problem I ran into was this. Getting a mini joystick. Um, couldn't find one. Well, at least I couldn't find one cheap enough. The cheapest one I found was a CCTV one, one that you have for your CCTV consoles. 45 quid. So forget that, I ain't paying 45 quid. So then, two things I was stuck with. A joystick and a keyboard encoder. So with respect to the keyboard encoder, that was the, the first solution was a program called Retro Game allows you to use your GPIO pins as keyboard presses. Pretty good, pretty cool. And not, not my program, uh, one that I found. So that, that served me well. Now it was a joystick issue. Now let's go on with the joystick issue. That was also quite cool. Again, not my program, um, not my circuit design, but here, let's take a look. Here it is, a little circuit. There's the Raspberry Pi running. Uh, coming off the, uh, as you can see, coming off the G. Where's my finger? As you can see, coming off the GPIO pins, coming across, and coming in. So you've got your power lines, you know, up, down, left, right, and there's a little circuit just there, and that is a PlayStation analog stick. You know, one of these. Oh, one of these. That's what it is. I've taken the top off it, but I've got the tops here somewhere. Here it is. Yeah, it is oh where am I? Here's the top. I just taken the top off while I was um, doing some sort of practice runs with it. Oh, what have I done? Okay, doke. Sorry, bear with me a second. I've just killed the bloody Raspberry Pi. Let's restart it. Let's quickly, let's check. Yep, yep, back on. Actually, why not? I'll quickly just show you this part as well. Okay. So there we go. Okay, so quickly what I'm going to do oh, is obviously show you the games. Funny. Okay, so let's press enter. Start the game. There we go, and we press 1 to start. So 
what we got. That, that's me turning that. Where's my boy? Here you go. There you go. Actually, really cool. It's really flowy, and um, the reason why I think it's really flowy and actually quite good, boom, <laughs> is because the modern road joystick itself is not a restricted four or eight-way joystick. It's actually an eight-way joystick, but it's not restricted in the sense that it hasn't got a square gate or a octo gate or a four-way gate or whatever you want to call it. It does not have any gates on it. Not only that, it has a thick steel ball on there which is what pivots your joystick shaft so basically it, it, it's essentially a digital analog stick it is really smooth to use because of that reason so using that analog stick converted from analog to digital is actually perfect for gyrus itself um i haven't tried it on, on, on some of the other games but at least for gyrus it's spot on um and i'm actually quite happy i'm actually really happy with um the 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 solution i've got and done there because for gyrus it's worked out really well so there we have it so that's basically a little analog joystick um taken from PlayStation. In fact, I'll show you what I've taken it off. Uh, took it off there. Look, as you can see, they're off. Um, come off cleanly. Um, I took both. I ended up taking both of them off. Uh, there's the other one. There's a pin. I have ordered the breakout versions, but I was excited. The breakout versions haven't arrived yet, and I was a little bit excited to do this project. Um, so there we have it. That's basically it. That's the Raspberry Pi running off of the GPIO pins, um, analog stick, wiring the buttons. The buttons are actually also running off the GPIO pins. I've got them mapped to GPIO, spare GPIO pins. Obviously, I've missed out GPIO 14 and 15 for obvious reasons. They're UART, UART, and out of bounds. Unless you want to mess around changing it, the settings on there. Uh, but there we have it, uh, Raspberry Pi running main for all Pi using GPIO pins to do all your controls and even that we've got an analog stick doing the movement. There we have it. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it.